So aside from the amazing RE4 remake reveals, the RE8 DLC is once again under the radar, and we are less than one week away from the release. A new trailer was dropped and today I will be breaking this stuff down and making theories about this new trailer and the new things that we saw. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit the like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I firmly believe that we can do it as long as I put in the work, but with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first few seconds, or should I say about 20 seconds, was a basic recap of what we have in store for the third person mode, which is nothing new. So let's get right to Shadows of Rose. This scene is really interesting because I don't know what this is basing off of. This could be a note from either Ethan or Mia, and this could take place before or after the events of the DLC, mainly Rose being in the conscience of the Mutamycete. We saw a little clip of the potential stalker enemy once again, but this screenshot right here is really, really creepy. This is giving me heavy Lisa Trevor vibes with multiple faces, and when you play the clip, you can hear a really deep and loud growl, so this has to be that unkillable stalker enemy that the IGN guy mentioned in the gameplay video. My theory video on this creature was this was going to remind me of the blob from Resident Evil 5, more specifically from the Loss and Nightmares DLC. What it was known for was having a gigantic blob on its back that you could shoot, but for this enemy and the weapon it has similar to the blob, we will be seeing soulless faces instead most likely. This could be a terrifying enemy to witness, and I'm glad they're keeping it a somewhat secret of its actual identity. Another thing I find interesting is it seems like this dark figure of Rose could possibly be a guide for her as well, or is trying to escape from this conscious of the Megamycete as well. I still am going with my theory stating this is Eva, also known as Mother Miranda's daughter. Also, the Duke seems like this weird kingpin of the Face Eaters, since I am assuming he is the one summoning them to attack you. But this shocking reveal right here, oh my goodness. It's inevitable. Are you telling me that Evelyn is making a return to the DLC? We got some dialogue from her in RE8 when Ethan was in a dream state, and if she comes back, that could possibly mean Evelyn, Rose, and Eva could all return in this DLC. The fact that Capcom is teasing that stuff is absolutely insane. Now again, the Eva slash Dark Rose thing isn't confirmed yet, it's just a theory, but I do believe that is the case. So, the three keys to the mold, Evelyn was the experiment that went rogue and destroyed an innocent family, Eva being the daughter to the one that basically created the mold virus, while her mother was using the mold to resurrect her daughter, which is Eva. While Rose is the supposed successor to Evelyn, but was born with powers due to her father being infected with it, and was revived because of the mold after Jack Baker killed him. Sign me up, man. Also, Rose was used for a ceremony for Eva to be revived by Mother Miranda, so I forgot to mention that. This DLC has so much potential to be the best DLC Capcom has ever created, and yes, on the level or even past the level of RE5 Lost and Nightmares, which in my opinion is the best DLC made so far. The next clip was Rose getting, I believe, her max ability with her powers potentially facing the final boss, whether if it's the Duke, Eva, or Evelyn, or even the crazy stalker that we all seem terrified of. Another subject that I need to touch on is that I believe Ethan is in this DLC. Some achievement art got leaked a little while ago, and with this new dialogue I hear in this trailer for Ethan, it's hard for me to believe that he's not in this DLC. So many fans of the RE community are speculating if this mysterious Michael figure is Ethan after all, and it is really steering towards that. We're officially less than one week away from the DLC and the final chapter of the Winter's Family story, so I'm excited for this entry and with these mysteries that Capcom is kind of keeping under wraps a little bit. I am becoming more eager to play this, but remember guys, October 28th is the release date. Let's get hyped. So anyways guys, that is the end of today's video. This is potentially the last video I will be touching on the Shadows of Rose DLC until the release date. So let's get hyped within these 6 days because we got some great Resident Evil content coming out that day, along with 3rd person mode, Mercenaries update, and Nariverse. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I hope everyone has themselves a good day, a good night, and a good sleep, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, and much love.